Thanks. Hey, Jesse, check this out. And three, two, one, pop! <laughs> Pretty cool, right? You can try it too if you... Pretty good at this. You guys are working way too hard. You're always looking to one up us, aren't you? Temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? So, are we doing this? I think Jesse's just taking it all in. Order of the Stone, it's time to get some glory. For, for glory! glory! I know we all yelled glory out there, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I was hoping for treasure. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place. again. It's not. Never mind. Huh? 
Hi, Petra. Who's Petra? <laughs> Kidding. So how do you think Ivor knew about this place? Eh, who knows? That guy's read like a million books and traveled all over the world. You probably start to learn a thing or two about a thing or two. So, how are you feeling lately? Memory's all back, as far as I can tell. Now I'm just trying to get used to having teammates and people who worry about me. That's pretty new for me. It's nice, though. Any thoughts on this place? I think I'd rather be in a straight fight than doing all this switch-pulling stuff, but I'm glad Ivor's intel about this place was good. Okay, I'm going to keep trying to solve this. disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's Temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Hey, I wasn't scared. No. Then who was it that was yelling, Help me! Help me! The dispensers are trying to kill me! <laughs> yeah. We were all totally unprepared. Crazy we didn't die. And to think... That was just the beginning. Yeah, and that was before we'd fought Wither Storms, hung out with Enderman, reunited the Order. So crazy. me of that time when you got a cake from that witch's hut and I was super jealous of you? It's just, I really love cake. My mouth is practically watering just looking at it. Hey, if you want it, it's all you. Oh man, oh man, oh man, thank you. Hmm, a pumpkin. Not bad. Huh, I suppose that could be useful if we run into Enderman. And looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's What did you find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super, super cool. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. That glow, is it some sort of enchantment? I don't know. I've seen people put an unbreaking enchantment on flint and steel before, but that's not unbreaking. You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. never seen a flint and steel do that before. Uh-oh. Looks like the monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? If you ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Yeah, so let's use the redstone wrap. Obviously. Olivia! Wrap the redstone wrap! Nearly there. Okay, activate it. Good job, Jesse. Worked perfectly. Wow, you so gotta teach me how to make one of those. Yeah, pretty spectacular. Lava took them out. Hey. 
trapped. Now what? Quick! Jump! Okay. Let's get out of here. Cave spiders. Why did it have to be cave spiders? The only way out of here is through them. So get ready. Tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again too. I'm dying to know how it works. Okay, what should I burn first? The grass! No, that stump! Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? <laughs> Looks a little, uh, sophisticated for you, Jesse. Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Joke's on you, we don't live in a cave. Shut up, you idiot. Uh, what grief are you here to give us now? Look who's talking. So what are you, Ocelot, doing here anyway? The Ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Sorry, boss. Don't do it again. Huh. Pretty cool name. Of course it is. And I don't give a crap about what you think. <laughs> hey, where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Mmm, no. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Or he's a whiny dingus. <sighs> Lucas left us to risk his neck and save you guys? And this is how you talk about him? You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Blaze Rods. There's no shame in being second rate, Aiden. Not everyone can do what the Order of the Stone can. <laughs> well, that's, that's just what I expect from someone as small minded as you, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. Haven't you taken enough? <gasps> Some hero you are, Jesse. <sighs> Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze Rod! Ooh, I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Wow. Us being the New Order of the Stone is really getting to that guy. He's gone crazy. We should be careful. He seems different. Scarier. Man. And all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. 
Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Yeah, not our fault we're so awesome. I guess so. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> yep, New Order of the Stone is back in town. skulls and tentacles while still doing the whole barfing lava thing Yeesh. i don't know i think it's kind of cool looking wow that is one epic build with the lava yeah yeah and the skull motif awesome, awesome. i will never understand your taste not my fault look out oh, oh, help oh stop your whining what are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? <sighs> of course. Oh, Jesse, you're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard. So I suppose we're even. Man, Ivor, this is really cool. Why, thank you, Jesse. So good to finally see someone with some vision. Jesse, seriously? You can't let him keep this up! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own, with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up! Sorry, but Ivor's right. People have got to be free to build. But that's so irresponsible. Well? We have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? Ivor obviously put a lot of work into his new house, and we need to show it the same respect that we would show a house not dripping with lava. Leave it. I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? My lava house. Long live lava! Thanks, Jesse! That's right. Keep walking. Keep walking! Always nice to see a gracious winner. Ha ha. Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you, Jesse? Ivor, we found something at that temple you told us about. What? You did? <laughs> yes! Great to see you again! Let's do lunch! I'll bring the carrots! There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Well, if we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safer. But... Like, not too safe. Come on, help me collect some sand. And you can make sure that when we make it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. 
We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we make sure this art gets the respect it deserves. Right, what he said. Nice work today, guys. Yeah, not bad, right? Mm, it's like we should do this more often or something. Later, guys. Come on, let's go find Ivor. This place is really shaping up. Whoa! Lucas! I don't believe it! Oh, hey guys! You have some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Lucas, what are you doing here? Admiring the treasure. Reminiscing about how, you know, I helped out on a couple of them. And you have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? I still feel guilty about it. Every time I see another pig, all I can think about is how Reuben died because I put him in danger. He didn't die in some accident, Jesse. He sacrificed himself. He was a hero. Yeah. Doesn't make me feel any less guilty, though. <sighs> okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Oh, I hate that guy. Whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Man, he's such a jerk. I mean, he never stops. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot and the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Jealous. Why? He thinks you're a big bully, Jesse. Looting and keeping all the good stuff for yourself. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to- You found it! Ah, Whoa! Dude! What is wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... That you're actually holding this! Okay, Spill. What's it do? It proves what I've always suspected. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. Right? So? What's the flint and steel do, then? Uh, not 100% sure, actually. But I suspect that it's related to the exciting part. You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource. What a beautiful sight. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. More powerful artifacts, huh? Wow. So is this Eversource thing valuable? Valuable doesn't even tell the half of it, Jesse. Okay. I'm interested. The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place. Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. I'm still just trying to wrap my head around the Eversource. Wait. Like the temple we just got back from? We have to go back there? Yes! Luckily, you already know the way! He does have a point. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately! Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off? Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. This is so exciting. <laughs> Adventure! 
Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but oh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Hey, he's not so bad. Why are you being so hard on him? Uh, maybe you forgot the whole Witherstorm thing? He kinda has a history of being a world-scale pain in the butt. These trees are enormous! I love it so much! <sighs> he just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. Except for less cake. My dreams usually involve cake. Hey, let's not get all enamored with the architecture now. We've got a treasure to find. Wow. It looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, blonde guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not sure that's possible. What? She means that you just seem to be super excited, Ivor. Well, that wasn't there last night. That looks promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you. Uh, yeah, what he said. So you think this Eversource thing is up here? Hard to say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential, so they hid it away in a place where it would never be found. And ha! It never has been! Well, that looks what promising. What is Jesse doing up there? Jesse, what do you see? <gasps> Some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. Spectacular. But where does it lead? I don't know. This portal, it's not like anything I've ever seen. Here goes nothing. Thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. You're pretty easy to follow, you know that? You're gonna regret that, Aiden. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Shut up, Gil! Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path. Going after Aiden, and we're going to take him down. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't worry, I've got you. You are surprisingly heavy. I am. The proportionate weight. For my height. Thank you very much. There you go. Easy now. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Definitely don't want to fall down there. Okay, what just happened? How did that portal even work? I suppose much the same way a portal to the nether works. Except to an entirely different world. Hey, uh, 
Uh, you guys see that? What? I'm starting to think Ivor was right about this being another world. I'm liking you better by the minute, Louie. That right there, big floating island on the horizon. Oh, wow. I'm really surprised I didn't notice that sooner. The city in the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're going to reach it. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a problem. I can't believe this. We fall through a portal into another world, and then we can't even go anywhere. Can't we just, like, build our way over? Uh, how? Oh, please! You've heard of a bridge, haven't you? I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. Yes, very astute, Lucas. Ivor the Grump strikes again, I see. Elementary, my dear Lucas. The underside of this island is much, much bigger than it appears. Really? Jesse's right. If we strip this whole island down to nothing, it might just be enough. Stop pushing! I'm not pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang. I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Everybody off! Ivor, seriously? <laughs> Sorry, can't help myself. You're building! I... you... Uh, I, I don't... Hey, yeah, we're building. Is something wrong with that? I, uh, uh you don't know? You, 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 you were building! Uh, unauthorized building is against the law! Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden! This, this makes no sense! No sense at I, all! I, 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 well, uh, that's the law? Okay, I'll bite. Why is building against the law? Oh, uh, uh, this is making me terribly nervous, but, uh, first those other outsiders, now you! Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, wait, wait! I come just back! Sorry. And he's gone. <sighs> Darn. I wonder if everyone here is that nervous. Wow. Incredible. Whoa, what's it made of? It's kind of blinding to look at. It looks like it's all gold and iron blocks. Whoever built this had rare materials to burn. Yes. Clearly the Eversource is capable of miraculous things. And when I get my hands on it... Hey, how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes! I'm just getting excited. And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. Well, if we beat him to it, he won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. We need to find Aiden. He's got our flint and steel, and he's up to no good. But we're gonna stop him. He mentioned an inn, right? That seems like our best lead for finding Aiden so far. Agreed. The blaze rods already have a head start, so we need to get moving. We don't have any time to lose. Hello! It is nice to meet you! Boy, these are some popular crafting tables. Don't worry everyone, your turn will come in time. Please have your materials ready when you approach the crafting table. Huh? I knew I shouldn't have waited so long to eat. Hey there. Are you on the schedule for the furnace this afternoon? Didn't think there were any more appointments today. Hang on. 
Let me see here. Dale, 10 stone blocks. Oh, yes, that went very well. Melissa, three cooked pork chops. She rescheduled. Classic Mel. You keep the furnace locked up? Did it do something wrong? If you wish to make an appointment, speak to the founder. Good day. No building, no crafting, no brewing, no forging, unless with express permission from the founder. All complaints must be registered in person. That's it, you can stop writing now. Intense. The founder isn't accepting visitors right now. Captain Reginald, at your service. Hey, so what are you guys up to? Ah, just supervising this citizen while she does her build. The Founder finally approved my petition. The Founder? Well, that's her palace up there. She is the keeper of the Eversource. Builds everything you see. Some days I can't even fathom how she keeps it all straight. She's incredible. I'm a... <laughs> I'm a fan. She builds everything? Yeah, well, it sure is amazing. <laughs> That's why she gets to make the calls about what does or doesn't get built. Like my build. It's no easy feat to get all these oak blocks. Your petition was very well handled. Oh, gosh. That's nice of you. I just don't understand why everyone shouldn't be allowed to build. Ah, what a sentiment. I mean, it is a good thought, but it's crazy. Hey again. Yes? Fancy duds you're wearing, Reginald. Is that a uniform? I try not to brag about it, but I'm actually the captain of the guard. One of the reasons I'm allowed to supervise a build like this one. I'm looking for the inn. Know where it is? Uh, yeah, it's back over that away. Milo's place. Milo, huh? Thanks. No problem. So, I'm curious. What kind of stuff do you guys do for fun around here? Oh, uh, all sorts of things. Make wish lists of resources. Practice low inventory builds. Some people do poetry. <laughs> it's a pretty great place to live. Don't let me interrupt you guys. Good luck. Much obliged. Sorry, stranger. Can't come up here. And where should I put them? Yes, just get them here. I'll deal with them. Get out of here. Go, go! Uh, why, hello there. What can I do for you? I'm not sure what the custom is where you come from, but uh, here <laughs> it is considered impolite to stare. Especially when people are doing boring things not worth staring at, like simply minding their own business next to a wall. I heard from someone in town that you could help me. Other people were talking about me? <laughs> they must have me mistaken with some other handsome innkeeper. <laughs> <clears throat> Out of curiosity, what is it that uh, they thought I could help you with? I'm sorry, but I'm actually quite busy. Inns don't keep themselves, you know. Lots of busy work. I heard you talk to the blaze rods earlier. What did they want? Hmm. Hmm. Blaze rods. Hmm. I... I don't know any blaze rods. You must have been misled. I'm sorry, but it's like I told those other outsiders. I can't help you. Now, please. Hey, this our guy? He tell you where to find the blaze rods? How many of you are there? I told you, I don't know anything. He hasn't told you anything yet. Is he hiding them somewhere? I am uncomfortable with this line of questioning. Look, I know you talked to them, Milo. 
Just spill it. Fine. If it will make you leave me alone, that Aiden fellow did come talk to me earlier. Wanted to know where the Eversource was. Called it! I just told him what everyone else already knows. The Eversource is in the palace with the Founder. That's all that happened, I swear. What a bunch of creeps. Yes, I wasn't terribly fond of them. So, where is Aiden now? The group left for the palace, and I haven't seen them since. Attention! Attention, everyone! Just a moment of your time, please. Emergency meeting attendance is mandatory. Oh, slime blocks. Curious. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, it's the founder. I wonder what this is all about. Yes, I'm nervous being surrounded by so many people. We'll be fine, Ivor. Guys, I think I found the blaze rods. Oh, no. What are they doing? People of Sky City, I'm sorry to pull you from your duties, but something urgent has come to my attention. A crime has been committed. A crime? What kind please, of crime? Please, please remain calm. Earlier today, outsiders built a bridge into our fair city from a distant island. Now, whether these outsiders know it or not, this is a violation of Sky City's most sacred law. No unauthorized building. Wait, is that you? Are you the bridge builders? Obscene! The builders! Atrocious! Everyone! Everyone! Please! Yeah, I heard all about that stupid law. And it's stupid. A stupid law. Who would even come up with that? Jesse, wherever you are, step forward now. I have already been informed of your identity. I appreciate that you may be ignorant of our laws, but I will warn you, Sky City is small, and I promise that if you try to hide, I will find you. We need to get to the Eversource at whatever cost. This is clearly our fastest way into the castle. By getting arrested? Wait! Don't be fooled by the Founder's lies. I can help you come up with a plan to get into the palace. Here I am! I built the bridge! Are you crazy? Does she look like she's gonna help us? Hey! Unhand me! Hey, don't treat him like that! We didn't do anything wrong! The builders! Ha! Huh. Knew you'd see it my way. Hey! Hands off the road! Guards! Bring them forward! Jesse, I... I'll find a way to help you! I promise! Let go of me this instant! Excuse me! Excuse me! Come with me. We meet at last. <laughs> <laughs> Who's snickering? What's that noise? Hey, you're the founder, right? Nice to meet you. Jesse. Name's Jesse. So I gather. Hmm. I admire your honesty in stepping forward. This should be interesting. service to Sky City. I grant you these gifts. There, see? And by God she summoned. It must lead to the Eversource. Really? That's what you're focusing on? I'd say we have bigger problems on our hands. Like Aiden. Look at him, all friendly with the Founder. That's bad news. Lucas is right. We need to figure out what Aiden is up to so we can stop him. That's what we need to stay focused on. I've got the feeling I already know what Aiden is up to. Take your reward and enjoy the bounty of Sky City's generosity. Carrots? Really? You gotta be kidding. We are honored, wonderful founder. Of course. Now go. I have criminals to deal with. 
Good luck, Jesse. I hope you like being doomed. Totally doomed. Blaze rods! You're going down, Aiden. I'm going to stop you. Not this time, Jesse. Out of my way, Reggie. It's Reginald. Come on, criminals. Time to see the Founder. Jesse and accomplices. You have committed acts of wanton and illegal building, something specifically forbidden by our laws. Explain yourself. This could still turn out okay. Are you kidding? She does not sound friendly. But I didn't know it was against the law when we started to build. We were stranded. What were we supposed to do? Ignorance won't get you any favors. Aiden told me all about you, Jesse. About how you're a tyrant back home. About how you and your Order of the Stone steal all the world's treasures for yourself. About how you're here to steal the Eversource from my city. A terrible act of treason. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You've got it all wrong. The Blaze Rods are the thieves. We're just here trying to get back the thing they stole from us. Really? Jesse, it's clear that you're the little ringleader. So how about you come with me? Um, okay. Uh, I guess we'll just wait here then. Tell me what you see. I don't see anything. It's just... empty? Precisely. As you can see, nothing exists below us. Only the void. Resources. Every kind are incredibly precious. And when something falls, it is gone forever. It is why building only happens when I dictate it. People only receive materials when I allow it. Otherwise, we would collapse back into chaos. It is my duty to keep my people safe. And the only way I can do that is if our laws are obeyed. Well, yeah, but you've got the Eversource, right? Can't you just use that to make more materials? It is not that simple. <sighs> people act as though I want things to be this way. Allocating the limited resources. Risking my life every day. Wait, what do you mean by limited? I heard the Eversource could make unlimited precious materials. If only it were so simple. I'll have you know that before I found the Eversource, this world was nothing more than a cluster of pathetic islands in the sky. I do this for my people. That is why I do what I do. But you don't need to do it alone. We could help you. We could work together. <sighs> Being the leader of this city, it is a tiring burden. Uh, but no, this is my city. These are my people. And it is my responsibility. I think I've heard quite enough. Good. Now that you're back, we can talk properly. Reginald, I've made my decision. While I'm not convinced that you are here to steal the Eversource, the fact remains that you constructed a bridge of dirt without authorization. That is why you and your companions are to be detained <gasps> until I can discern the full truth of the matter. Reginald, please remove them. Yes, ma'am. What? But... but... we were getting along so well! I'm afraid this is the way it has to be. Sorry, outsiders. Founder's orders. No changing your mind now. You guys have 
some really fascinating stuff here. Hey, you already locked us up. Do you really need to confiscate our stuff too? Well, it wouldn't be much of a jail if I let you keep your stuff. Oh, wow. What is this? That's fine. It's almost like dirt, but not. That's called sand. You've never seen sand before? Sand? Wow. What's it do? Are you kidding me? We are not going to explain sand to the guy locking us behind bars. I refuse. Well, whatever it does, it's going in the chest with everything else. <laughs> Nothing sadder than an unimportant man on the world's tiniest power trip. Hey, I don't have to take this. I'm in charge here. You're criminals. Aiden told everyone all about how horrible you are. <clears throat> he said that you burn down trees just for fun. That you steal all the world's treasures and hoard them for yourself. He also said that you tame wild animals just so you can make them chase innocent people. You can't believe a thing Aiden says. He's a liar. He said that you'd say that. Though I suppose that's probably what a liar would say. I'm sorry, but this is the way it has to be. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go help the Blaze Rods beef up security. Can't believe I'm taking orders from that sniveling little... <clears throat> Stay here. Don't cause any trouble. I'm sure you'll be very comfortable. Reginald, you've got to listen to me. Aiden's tricked the Bounder so that he can steal the Eversource for himself. There's not much time. They're personal guests of the Founder, and sure, maybe I don't like them, but I'm probably just being paranoid. Reggie, listen to me. You've seen how they act. They're not good people. You know it. Uh, okay. Let's say you make a good point. And I'm not saying you do. But hypothetically, why would I, Captain of the Guard, let you, a criminal, out of that cell? I'll never know how you looked at them and thought... There are some upstanding citizens. Okay, maybe you don't like me very much, but tell me this. Who do you not like more? Me or Aiden? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's say I'm heading to the pantry to get you prisoners some bread. And maybe you'll forget to lock the door. Please just get out of here. Get to the throne room and stop the blaze rods. Nice work! Now, on to the Eversource. I mean, I understand wanting to stop the Blaze Rods, but you can't still really want to steal the Eversource, can you? I'm actually starting to have my doubts about taking the Eversource. These people seem to really depend on it. What? So you'd rather just hand it over to the Blaze Rods? It would be one thing if we were plundering a temple, but this? This is starting to feel like stealing. Ivor's right. The blaze rods have got to be stopped. Throne room was back this way. Here we are, back 
in the throne room. Keep your voice down. We don't know if we're alone in here. I don't know. Looks deserted to me. Behind you! <clears throat> hey! Wait, stop! Milo, easy! It's Jesse and Lucas. Jesse, I can't believe we found you! I can't believe you punched me. Ah, yes. I feel absolutely terrible about that. Let me assure you. I... I thought it was pretty funny. Petra, what in the world are you doing here? We were actually planning to break you out of jail, but I guess you guys have that covered. Hello again, Jesse. It seems fate has destined our paths to cross once more. I had hoped this would be the case. This is all very nice and very sweet, but who the heck are you? Hey, you're that weird innkeeper guy. Ha, <laughs> well... That is my day job. In actuality, I'm the leader of a group that wants the same thing you do. It's a rebellion. It is a long story. In short, my people want to free the Eversource from the Founder's clutches so that everyone may use it. If Aiden and his blaze rods steal the Eversource, we'll just be trading one tyrant for another. And I won't allow that. Yeah, he's gotta be stopped. If we work together, we can find it first. I do like the idea of beating Aiden. Milo, I'm happy to have you aboard. Welcome to the team. I'm very pleased to be involved. The Founder's secret entrance is supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. There was a door here before, with a minecart. Yeah, what happened to it? Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's got to be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap! Jesse, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. <gasps> A cobblestone generator. Amazing! Lava and water. Placed exactly far enough that when they collide, it creates cobblestone! Genius! Ingenious. Poor dead bush. Barely more than a bundle of sticks. Hopefully no one will miss one dead bush. I think that should be everything I need to make a lever now. Huh. I get the feeling this is a special tree. Yes, the ground you're standing on is actually the original island that all of Sky City started from. That tree dropped the saplings that grew into every tree on the island. I may not agree with the Founder's methods, but even I must admit, that's an impressive feat. Wow. That is pretty special. Okay, let's do this. Ah, my old friend, the lever. Fantastic! Ah, didn't know you were watching. My apologies. It is still just such a thrill to see someone so confident and sure in their building abilities. You and your friend Petra have been very inspiring to me and my people. With your help, we may finally liberate ourselves from the Founder's clutches. There isn't, like, a potion or something that could help us? 
Is there? That's not how potions work, Jesse. Although I should really look into that. Oh, uh, Jesse. Thank you, by the way, for getting arrested with me. No one's ever done anything like that for me before. You're welcome. Now go away! All of this opening up is making me grossly uncomfortable. Habits of the Enderman by Soren. Wow, how'd that get here? See anyone? Not yet, but the acoustics are funky in this place, so it's hard to tell when people are coming. We shouldn't hang around. Got it. I'm glad you're okay, by the way. Ha, huh, thanks. Me too. Zombie, sheep, pig man. Curious. But what does it mean? Hmm. Eggs? The sign says sheep, not eggs. Might as well throw it and give it a shot? A sheep? Is... is that a monster? That is not so bad. It is fluffy. The eggs all have creatures inside them. And they're all different colors. They must be, you know, color-coded what's in them. So she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. The Founder must have to kill literally thousands of monsters to get the resources to make anything. That doesn't seem very efficient. But she doesn't have any other options. Stay on your toes! We're close! Ah! I can't wait! <sighs> Let's take a look around. Source is a chicken. What? Yes, the spawn eggs. It's so simple. Wait, 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 wait. That's the ever source. So the chicken lays the eggs, and the eggs make monsters, and the loot from the monsters made this place. Well, throw it in the minecart and let's get out of here. We're still taking it, right? The chicken that the entire city depends on? Are you sure that's a good idea? What are you talking about? We need to bring it to the people! With it, we'll finally be free of the Founder! But that clucking thing is what we came for! Milo's right. The Eversource belongs to the people. What? I thought that was the whole point of this adventure! I knew you were here to steal from me. Ah! Pain! Oh, she's too fast! Just give me a second to catch my breath. The Eversource doesn't just belong to her. 
It belongs to everyone. This chicken belongs to the people. Don't try to stop us. It's just like I told you, Founder. They're here to steal the Eversource. Classic Order of the Stone. You don't say. What? No! Don't believe them! You have the wrong idea! Uh, Shut up, criminals! Are you kidding me? You just want it for yourself! And I'm supposed to believe the escaped convicts? Aiden warned me that you were a pack of thieves, and here you are, prepared to make off with the one thing our city depends on to survive. Boy, when you put it like that, I almost feel bad. Yep, afraid I'm going to be taking the chicken. It's mine now. What? This is outrageous. Aiden, don't do this. Somebody order eggs. You're down here too? Lucas! You made it! Oh, yeah. Only slightly worse for wear. Ah, oh, gotta say, Aiden's tougher than I remember. Mm. You're having pretty good. Lucas, I'm really sorry I didn't help you up there. I only had a few seconds. Everything was happening so fast. No, no, don't worry about it. Aiden was, uh, <laughs> stronger than I was expecting. It was good of you to try and save the founder. Uh, speaking of whom, is she okay? She's just sort of staring. Let me ask. Founder! Miss Founder? I, uh, hope she's not in shock or something. You, uh, doing okay over there? I just, I, I can't believe it. This has been down here the whole time. I forbade anyone to look for land below us. It was too dangerous. A, a lost cause. Yeah. I think people will be pretty upset when they learn this was down here the whole time. Hey, take it easy. She's having a rough enough day as it is. No, no. That's okay. I, I was too cautious. I didn't want to create false hope, and I was so certain that the only thing down here was death. Look at this place. 
totally untouched biomes all around us. Yes, it's all a little overwhelming. What, what do I do now? Well, how about you start with a few deep breaths? <laughs> Seeing all this after you've been crammed on a tiny island, that would be overwhelming for anybody. You can bring all of your people down here. They won't have to, to petition for resources or any of that stuff anymore. I, I suppose you're right. Yes, we have to go back up and tell them. Getting back up. My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. Definitely a bad sign. Your city is probably in big trouble right now. I can't believe Aiden could be so stupid. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in. Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop Aiden. Help me protect my people. We did kind of start this mess. I'll do it. But I'm doing it for your people, not for you. I. Yes, yes. Of course. Thank you, Jesse. Okay, getting back up. Getting back up. Let me see what we've got to work with. Hmm. That'll work. What is it? Ah, oh, I see where you're getting at. Nice. Well, would someone care to explain it to me, please? We need to start gathering dirt. As much as we can. Uh, how will that help? We're going to build a tower of dirt. All the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. Okay, that should do it. Jesse, what is that? Just... wow, what are the odds? It's the other half of the portal that brought me here. Man, what a relief. I mean, once you get that flint and steel back, it should be a straight shot home now. Well, guys, ready? Yes, I, I think so. I, uh... I think I actually gotta sit this one out, Jesse. Aiden got me pretty good. I'm just not sure I'm up for towering all the way back up there. I'm really sorry. I probably wouldn't be able to keep up anyway. What? But it's dangerous alone. Monsters! Nightfall! I'll get some food, put together a shelter if it gets dark. It's not my first rodeo. There you go, buddy. Thank you for trying to help. It was very noble. Hey, what's with the last goodbye tone? I'll see you guys when you get back. Oh, give Aiden another punch for me. Will do. Come on, we've got an epic climb ahead of us. We've got a city to save. Ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. Oh. And Jesse, I appreciate what you did up there. Trying to save me, I mean. Whoa! That was crazy! 
crazy! You okay? <gasps> what have they done? is under attack by monsters, ma'am. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Aiden, come on. We need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. on your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge. Quick version? You know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. You speak truthfully, my friend? No. Well, I can't wait to hear all about it later. I gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. We'll see you on the other side. Taking over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! We need to stop him! I know! Jesse, take one of these! They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. Got any potions of invisibility? Here! Can't stop what you can't see. <clears throat> Reggie, you're delusional, Aiden. The people of Sky City will never bow to you. You killed the founder. Yeah? Well, you're gonna be next if you don't shut up. Now you listen here. I'm the captain of the guard. You can't just talk to me that way. Aiden, you lost. I saw you fall. You went down. You're alive. You're alive. Is the founder with you? <laughs> Reggie! Not one more step! I killed you once! I could do it again! You thought you could just kick me off the edge? Unfortunately for you, Aiden, I'm pretty tough to kill. Just die already! Should have left while you had the chance!
can't stand to see someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win. It just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, this isn't about who wins and who loses. It's about what's right. And that is why you're gonna lose! stand to see someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win. It just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, this isn't about who wins and who loses. It's about what's right. And that is why you're gonna lose!
people are lying. There's ground everywhere. Jesse, I cannot thank you enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different and scary. But exciting? What do you do? You go have fun. You guys were cooped up there so long. Now you can do whatever you want. Oh, freeze, criminals! You're not going anywhere. I knew you'd stop him. Nice work. Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. I knew they wouldn't get away. Ooh, I bet the blaze rods are in for a bad time. These Sky City people are not happy with them. Yeah. Hopefully they dig a deep hole, bury them in it, surround it with lava, and... Sorry. Got a little carried away there. Aiden. Oh, uh... Hi, Jesse. I'm, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to cause all that trouble. I can see where it all went wrong. I've, uh, got some regrets, to say the least. Yeah. I'm sorry too, Aiden. It didn't have to be that way. I was just so... jealous. Bitter. And you had all this cool stuff going on, and... and I just wanted a piece. I wanted my time to shine too. I'd say you have a lot to think about. Yeah, yeah. That's for sure. Try and make a fresh start, okay, Aiden? Do something good for these guys. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Make myself a little house. Uh, maybe I'll become a writer. I won't try to compete with you anymore. Attention! Attention! Hello, hello, everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky. It is time for us to run free. Build whatever we please! Wow, those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Bah! I'm sure I do look like a naive idealist through the eyes of an oppressive dictator. Just relax a minute, okay? Relax? Relax? My people are in more danger than they ever have been, and you want me to relax! No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? Who are we supposed to listen to? Of course the people can build, but we need a system, some rules. Rules aren't bad. This is all very confusing. Well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan. But you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things. But you gotta be safe about it. I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place. But I thank you for everything you have done. I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. The day that Sky City was liberated. This is a second chance at making a civilization. Don't waste it, okay? I don't intend to. I give my solemn oath. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but... She's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for Nightfall too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. Been a while since I've had to start from square one. Ugh. Just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. Aw, oh, come on, Ivor. It could be fun. Oh, that's right. In the middle of all the fighting and everything, I almost forgot. When I was on the ground with the Founder before, I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. 
actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. Did I not mention it either? Cause I could have sworn I said something. No! You didn't! Huh. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on! Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. So sorry about her. That's okay. It looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we going to do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides, continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Are you going to set her free? I tried to, actually, but she kept coming back. We've spent so long together, I suppose we sort of need each other now. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, oh, that's a boy's name. Huh, what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversaws. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? Oh, I just saw those pigs and, you know. Oh, yes. He would be really happy to know you're still having adventures like this. See, just like I told you, one portal back home. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No, a little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. Wait till Axel and Olivia hear where we've been. They'll never believe... It... That's... Not what I was expecting.